Okay, I'm just doing a quick video here. I'm been curious uh, because I want to be multicasting or simulcasting my live shows to both YouTube and Instagram at the same time. So I'm going to do a quick little test here, and I'll show and we'll find out exactly how much data does Instagram use. Well, let's take a look here. Um, it's too bright. All right, so first we're gonna go live here on Instagram. Check in connection. We'll start our analysis. All right, so we're getting data out right now. Now, since this is, um, I'm using a mini port adapter, the data rate is actually double because it's going both in and out of this adapter. So this is like a broadcast adapter of some sort. So the actual IP that we're concerned about is this one right here. This is sending at four megabits. That's weird. Earlier it was going at half that. Hmm. Yeah, switch adapters back to the actual network card here. Close out my Yeah, there we go. One point three, one point two megabits going to Edge T upload here. One point three one megabits. Okay, that's actually not very bad at all. With that, you could pretty easily use your data plan if you don't have too bad of a data plan. Let's see here. One point three megabits. Not bad at all. I can totally simulcast with that. That's awesome. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. There's your answer. How much data does Instagram use when broadcasting? About 1.3 megabits. I don't know why it says it's going to Ireland, but whatever. That was easy. Reception. You can almost see the reflection. There we go, look at that. Yeah, alright. Yep, well, you got your answer. 1.3 megabits. At least that's what it is right now. It might go up someday. And I don't know if that's going to hold through on the. Uh, data network as well, but it should because my Wi-Fi is pretty fast. There's no reason why it would be throttling. Alright, well, that's it for that.